Wow. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio recently said that the COVID-19 vaccine will be distributed in New York City first to the hardest hit communities like the Blacks, Hispanics, and Asians. As being reported, de Blasio, quote, wants to ensure that lower income communities get vaccinated quickly and equitably, end quote. Or in Mayor de Blasio's own words, quote, we saw what happened to black communities, Latino communities, Asian communities in this crisis. We saw how people did not experience the coronavirus equally, de Blasio said. Equally? Okay. The response from some New York City Jews was swift. As a woman named Susan Racer Cohn posted, Listening to Mayor de Blasio say how the vaccine will be distributed to the hardest hit communities like the Blacks, Hispanics, and Asians. That's so interesting. I could have sworn that a little over a month ago, every Jewish neighborhood school, restaurant, and store was closed because, quote, our cases were the highest, end quote. But now that it's time for vaccine distribution, we are no longer a hard hit community. Whether we want the vaccine or not is not the point here. It's just to show that we are always to blame and never wreaking any benefits. That's a very powerful and poignant post. So um, Ami Magazine then retweeted Susan's post with the following message. Quote, Mayor de Blasio says COVID-19 vaccine will be distributed to the hardest hit communities like the Blacks, Hispanics, and Asians. But just a month ago, according to his honor, de Blasio, the Jews had the highest COVID cases. Speak about prejudice and double standards. So that was then retweeted by a man named Yossi Gestetner with another powerful message. Quote, suddenly Orthodox Jews are not a self-inflicted hard hit community. By the way, I don't recall Bill de Blasio or New York Governor Cuomo blaming any of said communities for being hard hit. The blame game was reserved for Orthodox Jews. Shameless bigotry by those politicos and some in the press. So let's go back. Why the anger at de Blasio and Governor Cuomo? Well, back in April, Mayor de Blasio attacked the whole Jewish community of New York publicly. Just check out this tweet of his. My message to the Jewish community and all communities is this simple. The time for warnings has passed. I have instructed the NYPD to proceed immediately to summons or even arrest those who gather in large groups. This is about stopping this disease and saving lives, period. So the mayor of New York singled out one community, only one community, the Jewish community. And as this Jerusalem Post article reported the response to the mayor back then, and there were many reports like this, why would New York City's Mayor de Blasio come down hard on Orthodox and Hasidic Jews for breaking Big Brother's constantly changing rules regarding COVID-19 prevention, yet look the other way when thousands of Black Lives Matter protesters recently failed to social distance, wear masks, or wash their hands frequently with warm water and soap? And why would the mayor threaten the aforementioned Jews with fines, shutdowns, and arrests after telling the NYPD to look the other way while felonious Black Lives Matter people, activists, blocked traffic, broke windows, looted stores, set fires, and randomly assaulted uniformed cops and innocent bystanders? The hypocrisy is screams to high heavens and specifically targeting the Jews. The discrimination against Jews by the mayor was clear for all to see, and that is continuing today with his equitable distribution plan for the vaccine. He is not truly looking out for the hardest hit communities, because that would include the Jewish community. Rather, he is using left-wing identity politics to shore up his leftist bona fides, making decisions based on people's race. That is the epitome of racism. I would like to end with this tweet my friend Yishai Fleischer tweeted back then in April as a reply to de Blasio's anti-Jewish community tweet. As Yishai tweeted, Dear New York Jews, if you ever feel uncomfortable gathering in the Big Apple or just feel like fulfilling an ancient dream, you can proceed immediately to Israel and take part in the big in-gathering of the exiles. We, and he, are looking forward to seeing you. Period. Yep. That message says it all. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.